<coughs> Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Uh, this pre the end of this prop here is incredibly thin. It's got a nice profile on the end. I don't know if you can see this. We kind of got a little bit of light. Uh, especially when I hit it with the camera. Anyway, she takes off fairly easy. This gives you a little bit of a view of the end. So you can see the shape is still there. Incredibly thin, but I wanted it to be light. And actually, it doesn't really take much wind to start it off. And there we are. Got a little bit of a breeze up here now. It almost died out a minute ago as I climbed down. See, as the tip speed ratio is 4.5, that means it's going 4.5 times the speed of the air going past it. The longer the blade, the slower it's going to turn. So, the prop on this one is 7 foot. Four inches. Hope you like the view. Okay. It doesn't take much to start it off. I don't have it aimed into the wind. There's not much wind. Notice it didn't yaw into the into the wind. But I'll give it just a little touch. Let it turn. So I'm going back off and see if it'll take off. Maybe another touch. Kind of hard holding the camera up here on the roof at the same time. Once it gets past that first uh, cog, it makes it a lot easier. It's turning rather slow, a long blade turns slow, but once she gets to cut in speed, you'll notice she takes off rather abruptly. That Venturi curve has to get up to speed and start cutting the air before it starts getting lift. This is the ceiling fan motor that I uh, was working on on the last video. I noticed it said 3.3 amps, so I decided to split the coils. I showed the work that I did on splitting the coils. I am standing a good distance away. So I believe in all in all I can get 6.6 .6 amps out of her. Now we got a little bit of a breeze. I'm saying about 7 miles per hour. Not too bad. 15 miles an hour really kicks. I've seen some decent amperage out of it so far. And the wind has completely died. There's the tail. Get another shot of it on the ground for you. A little more thrilling when you can get the whole thing in view without the sun blocking it out. Well, there's another shot of her. I'm thinking that prop's just a little bit too long. We're probably going to take it down to about six, maybe six and a half. But I don't believe in seven and a half is just a little bit too much. I got a pair of vice grips on the back down there towards the base of the tail to keep it from spinning. But still, the wind's coming sideways to it a little bit. I can make the tail bigger, I can shorten the prop. Mm. You got decent wind, but I want it to get up the voltage uh, a little faster. Shorter prop spins faster. 